feel like I need to bury this in my backyard. Like that's how much this means to me. Good morning everyone. Today we are doing a declutter on my neutral eyeshadow palettes. Well, what's supposed to be neutral eyeshadow palettes, but before we begin, I need to apologize because my nails are literally, oh, I've been saying this for videos and videos now, but like now I've got nail polish on the right, which was fine, but it's chipping off and I thought I had nail polish remover and I don't. So I went to like make my nails look kind of presentable for you guys today and I just, I just don't have anything. I have, yeah. So this is it. I can't even put on like some stick on ones or anything and I've got a cut on my finger still that just will not heal and I'm just having a bit of a meal with my nails so I'm so sorry. Usually my declutters have beautiful nails and today is just not it. But I don't want to put off this video. I'm really looking forward to doing it so we're just gonna roll with it. I've got a bucket here for you know all of the palettes I'm going to declutter. As always in theme with this kind of round of declutters I'm being a savage. I'm getting rid of heaps and a lot of these are discontinued. A lot of these are very old. A lot of these I don't use. So I'm really, really, really getting in here and I am going hard. Now underneath this drawer, we've got a whole nother drawer like this that's supposed to be colorful palettes, but I do think there are some neutral palettes down there too. Don't mind my outfit as well, I'm in my comfy outfit. But uh, what I might do is just grab out any neutral looking palettes from this drawer as well. Um, and then any colorful ones that we declutter or like pull out of this top drawer, I'll just chuck down here for the next one. I want to go in depth here today, so I'm going to do one draw at a time. We'll do some fast forward sounds, shall we? We've got rid of the neutrals, so... Oh, I do have another few palettes down next to me as well that I have not put away. And then I've got a couple of neutral palettes up on my palettes on my desk. I guess what we will do is just take out everything and then filter back in and I'll declutter as we go. So yeah, let's go. Here we go. So that's the empty drawer. This is how it looks. This does come out. I've just got these custom made to like sit all of my palettes up in so I can see them really nicely. And I'll show you how it all looks at the very end, all nice and tidy. I'm gonna put like bigger palettes at the back and then small ones at the front just so I can see everything. You saw like at the start of this video, clearly everything was stacked on top of each other. So it was quite hard to see what I had in my collection. And I do just wanna show you this pile of palettes on the ground. So it's quite impressive to look at. <laughs> So we are going to go through all of these and then put them back in the drawers. Should we do it on the floor? Do a little bit? Nah, nah, nah. Because I want the noises. I want the noises. So open this baby up. You can see it's right in the corner. So that's why the angle on this video is a little bit different. Just because it's hard to like, you know, fit the drawer in frame with where it's located. Um, but we'll do our best. All right. First off, I see a couple of these palettes here these um, big huge Chi Chi palettes and I usually have these stored next to me because they don't really fit in these drawers nicely. Look how stunning those colors are. These are really pigmented. Let me do a few swatches throughout the video for you just so you can see the like quality of some of these palettes. So this is the Freedom by Chi Chi. Oh my god, where did that come from? Like beautiful, beautiful shades. That's not even like a good representation. That was a trash swatch. Like, I don't know. I did do a video on these products a while back. Really nice, really affordable. So I feel like I really like that. That's a bit rainbow, so we might end up putting that in the bottom drawer. I don't know. It's this one. This one's more like nude. I want to keep this for now. I kind of do. I'm going to keep it for now and we'll just see by the end of the video if I need more space. I might move them somewhere else, but that fits in there, which is really handy. So this one I'm just going to pop on the floor next to me. I'm definitely not decluttering it. But I might put it in my rainbow drawer because you can see there's a lot of bright colors in it. Um, so yeah, I might put that in the other drawer. I do think I have more neutral palettes. So, oh my god, it's got dust on it from being under my desk. Likewise with this palette we have right here. This is definitely a colorful palette. 
beautiful palette. I did a rainbow look with this a while back. Um, actually for last Pride, so we might end up using this again for this year's Pride look. I also have this Chi Chi OMFG 2, which is another neon, so obviously not going in this drawer. All right, I'm gonna try and grab for some like larger palettes. Like, we have this clientele palette by Jar. I love this. I also did a look using this. Some stunning, stunning shades in this one too. Here's a couple swatches. Like, so pretty. So yeah, Jar. I love Jar. She's such a sweetheart. And this is really good quality and I think it's still available as well. So that can stay for now. It's the kind of colors like I would use a lot in my everyday life too, like my real life, not even just in videos, you know. Um, the colors just really cool to me. I really like the shimmers. There's some really nice mattes and then there's like these fun burgundies and like a fun green as well. So yeah, that's just something like I would reach for a lot. Oh my gosh. This video is going to be hard to cut down actually because like looking at these palettes I'm like oh my god they're all so pretty. We have this one here by Chi Chi. This is called Celebrity Countess Elegant and Timeless. Stunning colors but I feel like I'm going to keep quite a lot of colorful Chi Chi palettes so I might get rid of this one especially because I kept the really big one at the back there. These Anglot palettes I'm going to get rid of because these are ancient. I've had them for so long. I reckon since like 2013 or 2014 or Something like, whoop, something like that. Whoops. Get back in there. So yeah, they're just really old. I never, never, never use them. I don't know. I just feel like I may as well get rid of them. Does anyone on YouTube talk about Inglot makeup anymore? Like, I don't know. I haven't really used their stuff lately. I did use, like, their stuff they did with JLo recently. And then, yeah, I don't know. Let's get through all these Chi Chi palettes. I've got a couple others. So this one here is called the Lady Entrepreneur. Every day mattes. Actual stunning colors. Like I love these greeny ones. Those are really pretty. But once again, I feel like I don't need it. Paparazzi Princess Nudes and Naturals. And this one, that's really pretty too. That reminds me of the original like Naked palette. If it wants to focus. Okay, I've just adjusted the lighting so you can see a little bit better. Really pretty, but I don't need it. And then this one here is called the Sophisticated and Sassy Dabbling Duchess which is like this. Those colors kind of remind me of the clientele palette, so I'll get rid of that one too. All right, let's go through some of these. Oh my gosh, throwback. My Viseart palette, you guys remember, I was obsessed with these. The colors are so pretty. They're nothing like, I don't know, crazy unique or anything though. I'm not too sure if I keep that one. I might actually get rid of it. Um, even though that hurts me a little because they're very expensive and I think I'm going to get rid of this too. This is the Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. Stunning. I love it. But I believe it is discontinued. So yeah, no one can get it anymore anyway. I love, love, love the colors but I'll give it to a friend or something that will use it. Um, because you know, most of the time when I wear makeup it is for video so like I kind of need palettes that are available for you guys to purchase as well and also i just feel like there's so many new palettes constantly like i'm always trying new palettes so i really need to make this drawer nice and clean and minimal so that i've got room to put like new palettes in because yeah there's just constant new palettes and i'm working on a couple of new ones as well so i'm keeping that in mind while i'm kind of going through as well um this here's the nabla poison at garden i'm gonna keep this because i love that color scheme and i love how there's a couple of Pops of color too. Let me focus this for you because my camera's being a butt today. I love like those middle three colors, the purple and the orangey tones, the blue, like I just feel like it's so versatile. And even though there are a couple of pops of color, it's gonna go in my neutrals palette because it's mostly like wearable shades, if that makes sense. Like it's, yeah, to me that's very wearable. So definitely keeping it that. What else? We've got the coffee palette by Winky Lux. I remember loving this when I used it in a video real deep kind of neutrals. This would be great on people with medium and darker skin tones as well as like obviously if you're pale you can use them too. Oh my god. I'm constantly gonna be messing with the lighting. I'm sorry guys. That's a bit more accurate. But some really nice beautiful deep tones and a few highlight shades as well. So really good. I mean if you're my skin tone for like a smoky look. Beautiful beautiful shades. I'm tempted to keep it. I'm gonna put this in this area as a maybe. Like, we'll see what else we keep. I've also got this Makeup Geek in the Nude palette. I'm not too sure if this is still available. So I might get rid of that one because I did keep my Makeup Geek single eyeshadows, the new square ones. I love them. Duh. We also have this Marvin Magnificent palette. I don't know if this is still available. 
Let me just look it up because if it is, I'm definitely going to keep it because it's so stunning. Damn it, I'm pretty sure it's unavailable. I can't find it on the BH website when I go went through Google. Oh, those look pretty. Side note, look, these blush palettes by BH. Ooh, I might have to make a purchase. But yeah, anyway, and also on Beauty Bay, it was out of stock. So I'll give it to a friend to enjoy, but these shades are so nice. I love, 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 love the tones of those. Definitely a winning palette. We've also got this Source Box palette. This is the Midnight Blossoms. I might get rid of it. I just, I don't know. I'm not drawn to the shade so much for me personally. I feel like that's more of a colourful palette as well. Like it probably shouldn't have been in this drawer. Alright, we have, I think this is like more of a Z palette. Yeah, it is like rainbow shade. So let's put that in the top drawer when we're done. Um, we've also got this Nabla Secret palette. I haven't even used this one yet. And I'm obsessed with Nabla shades. Honestly, I'm going to keep this. I love how there's like three different rows of like tones. Oh my god, camera. You're really struggling today, aren't you? Like the whole top row, like you could do a wearable look. Or you could do a very pink look. The middle row is like bluey, greeny tones. And then the bottom one's very wearable. So that can definitely stay in this drawer. And yeah, I need to do something with that. The packaging as well. Let me just show you. This is so nice, like, the way it's risen. I love, like, the little snakes. Like, it's so cool. And the actual texture is, like, almost reptile feeling. I don't know. It's such a nice palette. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Nabla eyeshadows. I think they're great quality. Um, the Tati palette I will definitely keep. I really enjoy using this, honestly. Um, the pigmentation, the texture is just so lovely. And I do need to use this more because I've only used it... A couple of times so far on my channel. We've got the gold palette. Needless to say, I'm going to be keeping this. This is one of my favorite color schemes. It's so, so dope. The colors, yeah, just the kind of colors I would reach for any day of the week. I'm obsessed. And we've also got the Viva palette, which is a neutral palette by Natasha Denona, which I do want to keep as well. These are more like red kind of undertones versus the gold palettes a little bit more like golden camel this is like a lot more like warm and then the bottom row is like very smoky with like those kind of grayer tones which is a little bit more unique in my collection i guess there's not as many of those tones so definitely keeping both of those my favorite well, one of my favorite brands of eyeshadow palettes because they're just so bougie we've got the kylie uh wrist powder bronze palette which I'll probably get rid of. I just don't reach for it. I'm just grabbing like a handful of palettes right now. We've got the Naked Honey. I'm going to keep this. I really enjoy the colors. Once again, they kind of like that gold palette by Natasha Denona. Golden camel kind of tones. And then there's a few like warmer ones down here. Just a really stunning palette. Can I put that up? I don't know. I might have to mess around with the placement of these palettes. Oh my god. This is an absolute mess. I remember playing with the swatches of this and it looks like that green shade just like exploded everywhere. But I love these tones. This is the Desert Mirage palette by Lacquer & Co. I'm going to keep that because I just love them. I do need to clean it up though. So let me put it aside so I can wipe it down. We've got the Kylie. Oh my god, I love this. This is the Pressed Powder Palette. Is it her birthday one? I can't remember. She hasn't really like named this one. But I might put that in my colourful drawer as well. We have this I Think I Love You Palette by Colourpop, which is my favourite Colourpop palette. Can you still get it? Let me check real quick. Yeah, I can't find it. So I think that says being discontinued. I loved the colours in this, but yeah. We'll just say goodbye. And while we're here, let me just grab a couple more of my Colourpop Palettes. We've got the California Love, we've got the Zodiac one, Smoke Show, and there's probably some more, but um, I can't find any more right this second. We might find some as we go. Smoke Show, I'm going to declutter. I used this in my 1920s look, and I mean, it all pulled up very blue, and I just, I don't know, I'm like traumatized from that video, even though I haven't had that good a response to a makeup look in literally like so long, like over a year. So thank you guys so much and I will be doing some more. Like I'm planning the next one. I'm just breaking out real bad on my skin right now. So I'm just trying to give my skin a break um, before I wear makeup. So it's going to be one of the first videos I film as soon as my skin's not so like sore. Um, I can't wait. Even though I felt real ugly in this look, like it was only because it was something I so wasn't used to. And you guys just being so nice. I was like, yay, like I'm so glad you guys enjoyed watching it and found it funny or like, you know, just something real different. So thank you guys so much for the feedback. And I'm really sorry about this lighting, you guys. 
honestly I really am like I don't know what is going on outside anyways we will give that to someone else to enjoy I'm sure there's someone out there that will like that more than moi and then we also have these zodiac I think this has been discontinued as well like, I can't see it on the website at least so I'll give that to someone else that's actually like brand new and then this one is on the website and I'm keeping it I love the tones very peachy nudes some warmer tones some neutrals like an orangey and then some real fun shimmers like I just love these kind of colors you guys know me so it's definitely staying let me swatch one it's like look at this this is a glittery kind of one like how amazing is that it's like a full-on glitter and then the mattes are so like creamy and lovely as well look at that like just so buttery so huge fan I do have a discount code for Colpo I think it's Shan10 regardless it's listed down in the down bar under shopping links we also have the berries and cream Dominique cosmetics palette let me just check what's still available because this is another one that I definitely will keep and use again in a video if it's still available I can't find my phone there it is yay okay yeah so we've got um, the berries and cream. It looks like all of her palettes are still available, which is great. These are such beautiful quality. I love them. This brand's by Kristen Dominique here on YouTube, and the quality is insane. I love, love, love them. And these tones are just so stunning. This is in my neutrals palette drawer just because they are more wearable shades, even though there's a couple of colors in there, they're very wearable. There's heaps of neutrals, like these three, that one, these ones, a couple of these, like very wearable, very pretty for every day, but also. You can use these to create like a real smoky colourful look or a evening like party look kind of thing. Kind of bad. So yeah, that's going to stay in the straw. I don't really know where we're going to put that yet. So we'll just sit it there. We have another Chi Chi one. This is the Warm Neutral Matte Exotic Empress. Stunning. But once again, I mean we've kept the big one. So I feel like I just need to stop. I have the Identity Palette by Persona, which is so pretty as well. I feel like this is very old. I've had this for years, ever since the brand launched. Yeah, it's still available, so I'm going to keep it. And that's by Sona on YouTube, Instagram, everything. She's so cool. And then we also have these Novena palettes, which should probs go in my colourful drawers, right? Like, these are not natural in anybody's <laughs> state of mind, so... Yeah, we'll pop those down below in a short while. Alright, we have the KKW Mario collection, which I already used in a video. I feel like I'm going to declutter this though. I've kept so many times, like, all of those top ones. And I feel, yeah, I just feel like I've got everything already. We've got the Naked 3 palette with these purpley tones. I'm going to declutter this. I never reach for it, to be honest. We have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, which I love these shades. This is also a maybe, I think. We'll have a look at the end. The Carly Bible palette's definitely staying. This is one of my favorites at the moment. These shades down the bottom are all amazing. These like bluey tones are really fun. I've done a couple of like tutorials with them. And then these four up the top make such a pretty soft glam kind of vibe. If I zoom you in, like look at these four up the top. Like just those colors together create the most soft, pretty, kind of neutral, kind of colorful, like just so nice. So yeah and we've also got the Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills is this available still let me check I'm gonna be doing a lot of this sorry guys okay it is still available but I'm gonna put that in my colorful drawer I mean we might end up decluttering it in the next video who knows but I do like the look of it let me just see if we've got more yeah we do Anastasia Beverly Hills and we'll just go through I'm like why do I have two of these sorry but like what all right I'm definitely keeping the Jackiana palette I love these tones especially if you've got deeper skin medium skin or if you're paler like me you can create such nice looks as well a little bit more smoky and deep you know smoldery looks deep looks I created such 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 a good look with this palette if you guys want to check it out I'll link it down below is such a pretty look. I was obsessed with that video. Likewise with a few of these key palettes, let me make a little list of videos in the down bar for you guys if you want to check them out. Um, Just with some key looks that I've created with heaps of these palettes. Like most of these palettes I've done like a whole tutorial with. So if you want to look up any in particular, for example, you could go Shanixo Sultry Palette and it starts in Beverly Hills in the search bar and it'll come up, right? So definitely check those out. That, like I said, is definitely staying. I'm just going to pop that there because we're running out of a bit of room right now. The sultry palette I'm keeping as well. I love these tones for like, once again, a sultry look, a smoky look, a little bit deeper with some really nice pale like shimmers and also some of those silvery tones that I don't have so much in my collection um, that I kind of love. So, yep. 
We've got the Alyssa Edwards collection as well. I think I might declutter this. I don't know. I'm just like not so into those colors. They're very bright and I feel like I've already... Let's put it in my next drawer and I'll declutter it next time or I might keep it. I'm on the fence. What do you guys think I should do? Modern Renaissance. We've got two. There's one new. Like I don't understand what happened here. How did I end up with that? That one's brand new. Cool. Um, do I keep this? I don't know. I might just get rid of it. I don't know. I feel like it's been and gone. And the colors like now looking at them, I'm just kind of like, nah. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've kept a lot of nice shades. So I'm happy with what I've got. So we've also got the Topaz palette. I love this. Huda Beauty. Look how pretty these shades are. So nice for travel too, because you can kind of create a, hold on, it's too bright. You can create like a very toned down look using like, you know, the bottom two and like a shimmer or you can create like a more like brightish look with like the brighter tones you know it's quite fun i have this lost in luster palette by nas i remember loving this but i might just get rid of it now because i don't reach for it anymore we've got the oh wait, the naked original palette i'm actually going to keep it this is going to be the only like old palette that i still keep because i love those tones still honestly this is like such an iconic palette i still love it. I haven't used it in ages so this might have to go in the next declutter but I'm gonna keep this and see if I can use it some more because honestly like iconic such great shades. I might declutter this you know how I said this was a maybe the Winky Lights coffee palette just because I have kept the Sultry palette by ABH and I feel like I can get a similar vibe with some of these colors right here. Do you see what I mean? Do you see how I'm vibing? I feel like I need to show you a little bit darker like up here. Just some of those like bottom four shades on the ABH palette is, you know, fairly similar. Like Birch is a little bit similar. We've got like a similar like light shimmer color. We've got like the similar like tan kind of color. A silver, this one's much darker, but I mean, you know, like just similar vibes. So I'm going to keep the ABH one. We have the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star. Looks like this. Um, I used it a couple of times. It's like some of those darker colors. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I've already kept colors that are very similar to those neutrals. Might put it in my colorful drawer and decide next time. I found another ColourPop palette. This is the Good As Gold and it's so stunning, but like, I'm pretty sure it's already discontinued. Like, it's not on the website. And the one page I managed to find where it was on the website, it's like, it was stock, so I'll declutter that. It's very similar to the Natasha Jonah, but that's like something I liked about it. It's like a cheaper dupe, you know? I don't know if you guys can find it get it okay because it is so good but we'll declutter that one i feel bullied into it we've got the nude huda beauty i'm gonna keep this just because the tones are a little bit different to some of the other neutrals i have much more purple undertone more of undertone um and i think that's pretty fun so what can stow oh wait this is the naked reloaded like do i get rid of the original naked palette then and keep the reloaded one probably a eh? like similar tone like let's do that Goodbye, Naked Palette. I feel like I need to bury this in my backyard. Like, that's how much this means to me. Oh my god. It's the end of an era. I love that. Actually, I hate that. I love it and I hate it. I don't know how to feel. I've got the Naked Cherry. I loved this too. Like, when red neutrals were all the rage. But now I'm kind of like over red neutrals. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of that too. And I feel like I kept some of the similar-ish kind of tones in this palette. The Nude. So I'll keep that one I think. I feel like this one's a little bit more versatile than the Urban Decay one, but I do love that Urban Decay one. We have the Latte palette here by Dominic. I was talking about before Dominic Cosmetics. Stunning. Literal stunning. So 100% keeping. Alright, we're getting there guys. We've got a whole lot of like random miscellaneous palettes right here. Oh, we've got another Natasha Denona. This is the Star palette. Is this still available? It looks like this. I don't know if I should keep this one because I've actually got a couple others and I feel like I have the shades I love the most covered. I might get rid of that. I might give that to a friend. All right, we've got this Makeup Forever palette I bought in LA a while ago. And honestly, like I'm just kind of bored looking at the colors. Do you know what I mean? Like there's not that much variation. Like I would never, I don't, I don't even know why I bought it. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of that. We've got the Makeup Geek Peach Bellini palette. I just want to check if this is available because I really like the colors. So if it is available still, I'll keep that. See, I appreciate this. On the website, it says discontinued. 
So we'll give that to somebody else. We have the Sinopia palette by Mallow. This is real pretty as well with like this blue tone. I think I might keep that. We've got the Latte Kitten palette. This is brand new. Look at this. Let's have a look. By Winky Lux. The packaging on Winky Lux is literally so perfect. I'm obsessed with it. I find it just so pleasing to look at. There's all these little coffee mugs with little kittens in them. So, I mean, I feel like this is the most beautiful packaging. Great gift for someone that likes makeup, that likes kittens, that likes coffee. Like, you couldn't go wrong in the colours. Oh, yeah. Look, soft glam for days. The quality of these is really nice, too. I think I'm going to keep this and try it because, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty and the packaging is just insane. I'm going to keep it in the box, though, just in case I don't actually ever use it so I can, like, give it to somebody else or donate it or do a giveaway. I don't know, but for now, we'll keep it like that. <laughs> I've also got the Revolution palette. This is the Reloaded Visionary, and I did actually use this a couple times. It's quite pretty. Do I keep it? I might keep it for now, just because I haven't really kept many drugstore palettes. That's one thing about this collection. It's very largely high-end. I mean, we've got some Chi-Chi, some Be Perfect, I think it's a little bit cheaper. Mellow's not too bad. But like, a lot of these are very high-end brands, so. We've also got this MAC palette. I love this, I'm keeping this. It's just got some staples, and I did get rid of a lot of my single MAC eyeshadows in my last declutter, which will be linked below as always. So, I feel like I am justified to keep this. I really, really, really like these neutrals. I use that color a lot, and I broke it, as you can see, which is kind of annoying. We do have another Winky Lights palette. This one's got cats on it too. And this one is called the Kitten Palette. I think I used this in a video. Yeah, I definitely did because I used this like duochrome color. And yeah, you guys loved it. I think I actually did like a full face of Winky Lights or something like that. If I can find the video, I'll link it down below. But I think I'm going to declutter that one because I just feel like we've got a lot right here. I'm looking at this. I'm like, holy shit, I've filled up this drawer already. All right, let me just grab a bunch of... A lot of these are like smaller. I should have got a couple of large ones. Let me grab the biggest ones and then we can move on to these tiny palettes. We've got the Pretty Rich by Too Faced and I loved this palette. I actually did like two or three looks with it. I think I did like a Christmas one as well because this gold glitter is just insane. But um, I don't know. It's such a nice palette. I do wish it was in like a flatter packaging. Like the packaging's cool, but it's just not practical. Honestly, I feel like I loved this so much and no one else did. I don't know, but it's probably discontinued. So let me get rid of it. Even though I love it, I'm kind of sad about that. Um, we've got a couple of Nabla palettes. We've got the Dreamy palette, which looks like this, which once again, I want to keep and try. And then we've got the Soul Blooming one, which is also stunning. Look at that. Like really soft pastel colors and neutrals. Stay. We've got this Source Box palette in Etude. Oh, this is the one I loved. I might keep. Oh, I haven't used it in so long though. Maybe I get rid of it because I just don't reach for it. But I do love that. It's really nice. We've got the House Labs eyeshadow palette that looks like this. I might get rid of that because she did bring out that more colorful palette. I unboxed in my latest unboxing and I'm really excited to use that rather than. I don't, that one just doesn't excite me very much. And then we've got the Tartlet in Bloom palette, which I really like this. This is a really nice travel palette as well. It's got a nice big mirror. And just like staple colors, we can do a natural look all the way to like a smoky dramatic look. So it's just like a very versatile kind of shade range of plain neutrals. We've got the Jaclyn Hill colorful palette that does not belong in here. And the Milani Gilded Desires palette which I do need to try out some more. So I'm going to keep this and it's super cheap. Hopefully you can still get it. I need to check that actually. Okay, I'm kind of gutted. This actually came out like over two years ago apparently. Like 2018. Um, I'm kind of shocked because that does not seem that old. But hey, and I'm finding it really hard to get a hold of. You can find it on a couple of random websites here and there. But I don't think it's like mainstreamly available. So might have to give that one to a friend. Ah, I'm so annoyed. This is the thing about makeup these days, like people just discontinue shit like left, right and center. It's rough. It's rough out here. We've got the Naked Petite Heat, which I actually love this. I've actually used this quite a bit. I'm going to keep that. Um, we've got the Cutie Palette by Nabla, which I used in a recent full face first impression. 
love the shades it's very different as well so I'm gonna keep that we have the warm brown obsessions palette by Huda which I might get rid of just because I've kept so many other things I've got this Dior palette which is so pretty but I might just get rid of it screw it we've also got this Anastasia Beverly Hills this I don't even know what it's called but it's this like little quad I actually want to keep these because I love those colors <laughs> there's this one too um, once again, don't know the shades, but so cute. I have some more of the Cutie palettes by Nabla, which you guys know I do want to keep and try. This one I might put in my colourful drawer. Why not? Because I feel like I could create a colourful look with it. And then this one is neutral. Oh, I might put that in my colourful drawer as well. Just because, like, then I'll remember to use it for a colourful look, if that makes sense. Like, if I put it in here, i probably, like, look over it and won't remember to use it. Whereas... If it's in my colourful drawer, like, I'll look at it for the colour. Do you know what I mean? And it'll inspire me because I really want to create a look with that really bright kind of coral. I've got this Tom Ford eyeshadow palette in gold and mink. And I always keep this because I'm like, oh, the colours are just too good to let go. But it's so old, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's literally, like, ancient. Same with some of these Charlotte Tilbury ones. Do these, like, are these even a thing anymore? Like, I don't even think I've ever used this. The Uptown Girl, like, this pink and grey combo and then this one this is the vintage vamp I do remember using this one but like I don't ever use them so it's time it is time but I do have this which I want to keep this is the instant eye palette with four groups of colors look how pretty this is like this you can't go wrong you've got like obviously heaps of colors you can mix and match with or you've got like trios where you can create different looks with those three colors so that is just stunning and I really want to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury because I've pretty much got everything I need like I need a couple more things but that's something I want to put together but I do have like three other full face first and no full face makeup tutorials I'm going to do first I want to do like Colourpop, Maybelline, what was it, Estee Lauder, Revolution Beauty so like you know and it's time but yeah I also have this pressed powder palette by Kylie looks like this I love those colors too but I feel like the neutrals in this like I've already kept so many colors that are similar I'm definitely keeping this even though I have very similar shades as well I just love this palette this is the camel palette by Natasha Denona and it's just like pretty I don't know it's so satisfying to look at just the colors the way they've laid out oh I've got another petite heat palette love that for me let me just see which one's used more. So this is what happens. This one's a little bit newer, so I'll keep the one that's a bit more rough. I've got the Katie Cat palette by CoverGirl, which I'm actually going to keep for now, just for another drugstore option. I actually really like it, but I might get rid of this one, because I don't use this one so much. This is the Chocoholic one. I've got the Smashbox. I think I might have to get rid of this, because I don't think they make these anymore, but these are like their little mini palettes. They did heaps of them, and they're really cool, but... I'm pretty sure those will not be around any longer because I had, like, I did that video years ago. We've got another Makeup Geek palette, which I'm assuming is also discontinued because it came out with that other one. I have the Narcissist. This is the Wanted Eyeshadow palette. Oh, I used to love this too. I did a couple of looks with this, um, but that was limited edition. So I'll pop that in my declutter pile. I also have this Viseart palette, which has really nice smoky shades, but once again, I feel like we've got that. So I'll give that away. And then I've got this Perfect Me Perfect Hue <laughs> palette by Stella, which is really cute. It's kind of falling apart. It's like the glue's melting. I'm going to give that to a friend. I'm pretty sure that won't be around either. We've also got the Spring Bloom collection, the little MAC palette, which I'm going to give to a friend as well because I've already kept colors just like this. You know, we've got a lot here to work with already. And last but not least, we have this Trist, whoops, Viseart palette, which I also purchased because I had a just moment with Viseart. I just loved everything they did. This is what it looks like. These are very expensive too. And I don't know what makes them so expensive. They are really freaking good, but like the packaging is nothing special, but the quality is really good. I might get rid of it. You know what? We're done. All right, now I'm gonna speed up this part again. And we're going to just reorder everything. I'm going to put it in a nice order that looks kind of pleasing to look at, I guess, and something that just kind of makes sense.
I might get rid of the Sinopia palette just to make stuff fit a bit nicer here. I'm gonna declutter this too, just cause I feel like it. All right, there's the finished drawer. Let me show you up close. Sorry if it's a little bumpy, but at the back we have our Chi Chi, our Kristen Dominique. I think that's the latte palette, yeah. See how you can go like this too, which is really handy. So you can kind of get in there and be like, oh, okay, like what's that, what's that? Then we have some Anastasia Beverly Hills, Huda Beauty, Be Perfect, Tati. Um, we've got Natasha Denona, we've got Nabla, Cover Girl, we've got Tartlet, we've got more Nabla, Persona, Colourpop, Winky Lux, the Dominique Kismet, Natasha Denona, Mac, Urban Decay, Nabla, Revolution, Makeup Geek, I mean, what? Makeup Geek? Urban Decay, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Urban Decay, um, Charlotte Tilbury, Revolution and some more Anastasia Beverly Hills down at the back. So yeah, they look real good and everything fits perfectly. I don't have any room for new palettes. Hee <laughs> hee. Still huge cut down. Huge cut down. Here's all of the ones I'm getting rid of. This is a huge, huge bucket as well. Like, huge. This is heavy. So yeah, I have to go through them. Sort out what I can donate any of the new ones. The old used ones can go to friends. Friends and family. So yep, done. Now we need to put away the rainbow ones quickly and we're done. So, down here, hold on, we're going to just, yeah, try to fit these. <laughs> so I need to do this drawer ASAP. You can see it is so out of control. You know what, like these aren't even gonna fit in here. Like where am I supposed to put any of this? Pass, I don't, I'm just gonna have to stack them. It's not gonna fit. I'm going to put them all just down here next to the drawer. So that's the next drawer, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video. Honestly, I find that so satisfying. Let me know which packaging you like the most. Like, which brand do you think just takes it away with the packaging? I would say for me, it's Nabla, it's Winky Lux, and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just love you know, the vibes of Anastasia Beverly Hills too. They're all very unique and super cool. And like even their other palettes, like so cute. So yeah, that's my opinion. What are you guys saying? Which brand has best packaging? Or do you prefer like Urban Decay? Like the more like plain look Natasha Denona like vibe? Like what do you like? I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.